Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're going to start a new series and that is what fish keepers need to know about water. So in today's video we're going to be covering ammonia, nitrate and nitrite and everything you need to know about them. So firstly, we're going to start off with ammonia. Fish produce ammonia as part of their waste. This is excreted into the aquarium via their gills, fish urine, as well as fish waste. Other sources of ammonia found in the aquarium are from decaying materials such as dead fish and uneaten food. Ammonia is present in the aquarium in two different forms. A relatively less toxic form ammonium NH4 plus and a lot more toxic form ammonia NH3. The proportion of ammonium NH4 plus to ammonia NH3 is dependent upon the water temperature as well as the pH. The higher the pH and temperature, the lot more toxic the ammonia will be. Things to remember about ammonia. Ammonia is removed primarily by the action of ammonia oxidating bacteria or OAB present in your aquarium filters which convert it into nitrite. Now in case of an emergency you can actually reduce the ammonia by adding solutions which actually bind the ammonia together producing it in, in a less toxic form. Or you can do water changes which will dilute the amount of ammonia in the aquarium. Another point to remember is your aquarium is already established and you have an ammonia reading. This generally could be due to overfeeding, overstocking, inadequate or faulty filtration as well as lack of maintenance. A sudden pH crash may, may kill ammonia oxidating bacteria or OMB causing a spike in ammonia levels. So now let's move on to nitrite or NO2. Ammonia NH3 is converted into nitrite NO2, which is part of the nitrogen cycle, which we'll cover later on in another video. Nitrite is a lot less toxic bacteria. However, it is still harmful to your fish. Nitrite oxidating bacteria OMB in your filter removes any nitrite from the aquarium or what is present in the aquarium later on turn it into nitrate which is the last stage of the nitrogen cycle so overall nitrite is a lot less toxic than ammonia however it's still very dangerous to your fish especially at high levels even a trace of it can be enough to even stress and kill your fish so some points to remember about nitrite or no2 a possible reading of nitrite is generally due to inadequate or faulty filtration when in an established aquarium. Low temperatures and very high ammonia concentrations mean that the OMB in your filter is not working properly. Nitrite levels can be reduced or diluted via partial water changes. Nitrite related water issues are generally due to temperature and ammonia issues in aquariums. So now we're on to the last stage which is nitrate. This is the last stage in the nitrogen cycle. Nitrate or NO3 is produced by the action of NOB which is nitrite oxidating bacteria. So for most fish it's relatively non-toxic, however some fish are sen more sensitive than others. Now high levels can ca cause fish to stress and later on lead to illnesses and even death. Inverts or invertebrates can also have molting issues as your nitrate levels are too high. So some tips to remember about nitrate. Nitrate related water issues are caused by ammonia and nitrite. So nitrate is actually the last process in the nitrogen cycle when it comes to stages of bacteria. Now nitrate is generally only toxic to fish at high levels. 
However, it does depend upon the species of fish you keep. Now, to remove nitrate from the aquarium it is very much more difficult than ammonia and nitrite, just because nitrate doesn't actually transform into any other bacteria or gets consumed by any other bacteria. So by doing this, we have to find other alternate methods to remove it from your aquarium. Now we do this by doing water changes or by using aquarium plants as you have a freshwater aquarium. And you can also use things like nitrate removers, which you can buy from your local fish stores as well as online. So I'm gonna give you some tips to help keep your aquarium a great success, free of any buildup of ammonia nitrate or nitrite, and overall making sure your aquarium is happy and healthy. So my first tip to you guys would be to make sure you've got a test kit on hand. Now you can get test kits for ammonia, nitrate and nitrite, as well as pH, KH, loads of other test kits you can get depending upon whether you keep fresh water or marine fish, depends upon what test kits you'll need. However, generally all f generally f the four main ones you need is ammonia, nitrate, nitrites and pH. These are arguably the most important when testing your aquarium water. So I would highly recommend getting one. Now my second recommendation to you guys is doing around about 25 to 30% water chain weekly. Now your water won't get dirty after a week. However, it's always good to do water changes weekly to make sure we keep down any levels of ammonia or nitrate in the aquarium, stopping it from building up and causing detrimental effects to your aquarium. My third tip to you guys will be watch the amount you're feeding your fish. Remember this is a rule of thumb. Your fish's stomach is only around the size of its eye, so not a lot of food. Now generally larger fish obviously will need more food than smaller fish like tetras or things like that. So a pellet, a couple of flakes is perfectly fine and shall do for most aquarium fish. So there you go guys, that's my three tips to you guys to help keep your tank running happy and healthy. So I want to thank all of you for watching, it's been an absolute pleasure to make this video for you all and I really do hope you found it interesting and both helpful. So don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, I do many more different videos, I do reef updates, I do freshwater videos, I do a whole bunch of different stuff. I will be doing the nitrogen cycle which is a follow on from this video as well as other related uh, what fish keepers need to know about water, pH, KH, softness, chlorine, temperature, a whole load of bunch of different stuff I'm going to be doing in the future on videos. So I also want to give a big shout out to the sponsors to this channel which is the Cheap Frags Facebook group. So the link to the group will be in the description below as well as BB2 Marines in Blackburn which the link to their Facebook page will be in the description below. Don't forget to check them out. They both do uh, amazing forum and an amazing uh, store to get all your marine stuff from. Uh, by being a member of Cheap Frags, you also get 10% off BB2 Marine, as well as the other sponsors to the Cheap Frags Facebook page. So until next time, guys, I'm going to see you all in another video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe, and I hope to see you all in another video.